Hi, I'm Dr. Harry Johnson, Jr. Um, I'm the Vice Chairman of the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology and uh, the head of the Division of Urogynecology and Pelvic Reconstructive Surgery. I've uh, been at the University of Maryland uh, since 1985, um, uh, primarily focused on gynecology and urogynecology. Um, uh, my primary interest areas are urinary incontinence and pelvic organ prolapse. One of the most common problems that we see in the female population now is urinary incontinence in patients over 30 to 40 years of age. Um, it's primarily related to damage that was done during childbirth. Um, uh, it's one of the, the uh, treatments that I really specialize in. Um, it's a treatment that can change uh, really the quality of life for females. Um, it's involuntary loss of urine. Uh, we now have uh, simple, minimally invasive procedures that we perform to try to correct the incontinence and uh, improve the patient's life. The, uh, there are two surgical treatments that we primarily do. Probably the biggest change is that we started using a uh, proline mesh for uh, slings to treat incontinence, which makes the procedure um, minimally invasive. Uh, it turned it from an overnight stay really to an in and out type procedure. Uh, the second way that we do it in patients that can't use uh, mesh is to use their own fascia, which is an autologous transplant of fascia, which also can be done in this minimally invasive way where they can go home the same day. Uh, it just decreases your risk of problems with mesh. The thing that I do uh, most is try to change women's lives. Um, and uh, by saying that, what I do is treat problems that affect their day-to-day -day function. And uh, again, this is urinary incontinence, but also pelvic organ prolapse, which again is damage that occurs from childbirth and causes the organs to drop or to uh, fall down. Um, so I primarily do surgical procedures to correct that. Um, the exciting thing is that we've been able to develop minimally invasive procedures, which get the patients in the hospital and out relatively quickly. Um, whether it's a minimally invasive swing, uh, sling or a robotic procedure uh, combined with laparoscopy uh, to, to minimize the uh, surgical um, uh, trauma that occurs with this type of operation. Um, generally, you're able to come in and go home uh, either the same day or the next morning. Um, we're also able to uh, perform hysterectomies in this fashion to try to minimize the impact on patients' lives. One of the advantages of coming to the University of Maryland is that we have cutting edge therapies. Um, we've been very involved in NIH trials um, and have been in a large NIH trial over the last 10 years for the treatment of urinary incontinence. Uh, it's resulted in uh, major publications in the New England Journal, um, uh, which has uh, uh, significantly impacted the uh, therapies that we're able to perform on uh, women now for these types of problems. Um, the other thing is we offer uh, multidisciplinary uh, treatments, which means you have uh, access to other specialists uh, which can help uh, improve your outcomes. And the most important thing in this type of surgery is to uh, have good outcomes, uh, either success rate for incontinence or success rate for prolapse, and try to return the patient to their normal uh, function, uh, active lives.